Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. In my video, I will be reacting to when entitled Cameron's realize they've been arrested. Let's get into this video. I haven't reacted to a video from Fact File. It's been a minute. Let's get into this video. 5111, I'm in pursuit again. Karens are notoriously known for stirring up trouble and creating That's public right. spectacles, thinking they're above That's the rules. Right. Turn around. You're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Stop resisting. Well, imagine the shock on their faces when they find out they're not immune to the law. That's right. Today, we'll show you three moments when entitled Karens get a reality check in handcuffs. Our first story begins with a troubling encounter involving a woman named Christina, who finds herself in a difficult situation with law enforcement. She claims to be an important person with connections to the mayor. Christina. On August 11th, 2021, Christina was confronted by police officers outside a bar. However, her behavior and actions only seem to spiral out of control for her. And you're gonna pretend like you don't know what happened to me? I don't know why I don't know what happened to you. I don't know what that has any bearing on tonight's situation. She is visibly upset and makes several claims, including knowing the mayor and being unjustly targeted by the police in the past. Her behavior is erratic, and she appears to be under the influence of alcohol. So my police department said that I did something wrong. All these must enjoy. Why? Figuring that I did something wrong. Okay. Even all the police department continued to investigate me when they had no right. So what does that have to do with tonight? Nothing. I don't even know who all she said. My husband's the mayor, and I've been kicked out of a bar already tonight, and you're not. It's just that you're, uh, what did she say? They don't like you because you're black. As the situation escalates, Christina makes several racially charged comments, including stating she doesn't like one of the officers he because like he is black. I'll grab the guy that I talked to earlier that's been talking to him away from the Actually, I don't feel safe no, in no, this city anymore. Religion. Yeah, What's more is, if something happens to me tonight, it's my job. You go over here and talk to me. And my name is Christina, and you know me. I'm just, I'm just calling Don't you, ma'am. Ma okay, I'm on camera. She was crazy. No, she was literally been here. She was crazy. She was literally been here. 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 This behavior leads to further tension between her and the officers. Despite attempts by the officers to calm the situation, Christina continues to be confrontational. Chris, you know my name. He is the man. You going to be Oh, you're just going to accept that? We're going to be able to treat me like this as long as I'm here? The officers try to explain to Christina why she is being detained, citing her disorderly conduct in the bar. They said they that you were pushing people and touching people and trying to push people off their stools and acting disorderly. Witnesses and the bar staff report that she was trying to push people off their stools and was generally aggressive and disruptive. Christina, however, denies these allegations and insists she has done nothing wrong. Angel Sam toilet paper is strong and she's been the bar for a while. Yeah. I was like, just being dumb. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. No. 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 Like, just go. So... Well, you go ahead and believe him. You find yeah, that video right? here. So it's so funny. Like, go talk to him. Baby. Come on. No, no, we're not. Hey, tell him what you think about me. I didn't talk to you once. 
Eventually, the officers decide that Christina needs to be arrested for her behavior. She resists this decision, questioning why she is being detained and claiming she was targeted. Christina, is it okay if we talk over here, Christina? No, I, I don't know what you want to talk to me about, okay. but I'm pretty sure you can do it right here. No one so, here. unfortunately, you do have to go to the night, okay? So, they're arresting me. Yeah. Christina, you, know, I'll, you got guys think I deserve to be arrested right now? Yeah, I'll, I'll get it for you. Okay. Uh -huh. Do you first, think I deserve first, to be arrested first, right now? First, first, first. I don't know. What am I being charged I'll, with? I'm getting arrested for disorderly conduct. Yes, oh, I'm being arrested. I need you to put that wallet yep. in my yep. purse. Yep. I'm gonna carry it all the way over there. Okay. Just like no, this. No, I want you to put it in my purse. Well, let's let's go and then we'll we'll make it happen. Okay. The officers remained professional throughout the encounter. As Christina is taken into custody, she protests, claiming she is being mistreated. Ultimately, she's escorted to a police vehicle, still voicing her discontent and disbelief at the situation. No, we didn't drag you, ma'am. That hurt. Yeah. Well, it's Christy, can you please sit in there? No. We're, we're trying to be decent. No, I please. can't. You're not being decent. Please. You've been her family. You know Tim. Please. I do know Tim. You actually believe me. That, that doesn't have anything to do with your Yeah, it does. I didn't do anything. You want your left? Okay, ma'am. We're going well. This is what happens when you think you are above the law, but that's not all. Our next story talks of a woman who feels her father's riches and status give her the right to yell and act up with the authorities. But, as you might expect, it didn't go well for her. Even her dad showing up didn't change the outcome. Stephanie Bloodworth. Stephanie. In February 2022, a dramatic encounter unfolded in Duck Key, Florida, involving 24-year-old Stephanie Bloodworth and the local police. Driving a gray Tesla, Bloodworth was reported for nearly hitting a palm tree and almost colliding with pedestrians. Turn off of the vehicle! Turn it off! Monroe County deputies located her parked Tesla and attempted to confront her. Bloodworth refused to comply as the officer approached, questioning the officer's accusations and resisting his instructions. You need to come over here right now. Why? Because I'm telling you to. You're running from me. I did not. I'm right here. Yeah, now you are. Despite being told to stay in front of the patrol vehicle, she returned to her Tesla and drove off, leading to a police pursuit. After repeated attempts, the officer managed to stop her a second time. Stand in front of my patrol vehicle right now. Right now. Ma'am! Sorry, what are you accusing me of? Ma'am, you need to get off of here right now. Run away. That Turn didn't around. work for her. That didn't work for her. 51, she's refusing to comply. Get out of the vehicle. Get out of the Get out of the vehicle! She's taking off! She's taking off. He's following her. <laughs> following her. 51, I'm in pursuit again. 
During the second confrontation, Bloodworth was on the phone with her father, expressing confusion and distress over the situation. She resisted arrest, leading to a physical struggle with the officer. Despite the officer explaining her actions, Bloodworth repeatedly claimed she didn't understand why she was being detained. She even asserted that her father, who she claimed owns the island, should be called to intervene. Bloodworth's father eventually arrived at the scene, but could not assist her. The deputies, due to her resistance, decided not to conduct standard field sobriety tests at the scene. Dad! 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 Why are they? There's nothing I can do. Just, just the there's nothing yeah. he can do for her down there, so you can't start acting out. It's just going to get worse. What did I do? Well, you buy it. What you, did I you do? Know what you know what you found? No, I don't. What did I do? Debbie, you found an alcoholic beverage in the vehicle? Yeah. I did. In the uh, front door pocket. Obviously, yeah, because alcohol. of her level of resistance. We can't do exercises. If she's calmed down when she gets there and she wants to do them, and you got enough bodies, that's fine. Bloodworth continued to show a lack of understanding of the gravity of her actions, even suggesting that she could have harmed the officer. At the police station, Bloodworth struggled to complete a breathalyzer test, eventually registering a blood alcohol level of 0.268, more than three times the legal limit. She faced charges of $30,000 for resisting an officer, $50,000 for fleeing the police, reckless driving, and a $30,000 DUI. Once you begin, do not stop until the exercise is completed. Stephanie, do you understand that? That's money she has to pay. Nine steps, heel and toe, turn around by taking a series of small steps. Do I need to show it to you again? Are you sure you I understand? Stretch, you need to stretch? Okay. I just been trying all day. All right, Stephanie, you have to, we, we got to start doing this, okay? Do you need me to explain the instructions again to you? No. Are you sure that you understand? You need nine steps back. Well, do you need me to go over the instructions again? No. Okay. Okay, Stephanie, you may begin.
She fell. What was that? You said you don't deserve this? Oh, I agree. Let this be a learning experience. Deep breath. Deep breath. No, I just told you. Because you think I'm wrong. That's not what I said. I'm requiring you to do one more test. Your breath is supposed to determine the alcohol content. Take a deep breath. And I'll tell you if you stop doing it, okay? And begin. Don't blow. drink and drive. Keep your eyes on behind the wheel. Don't okay. drink So whenever she starts making noise, you need to blow. Give me the opportunity that that's that no good. We'll so go ahead and try again. The machine, you can't feel the machine, so you need to pull your I'm not seeing, I'm just so not breathing. Push, push it all out of your lungs. Are you sucking in or are you blowing? See, you're not blowing. I am. You're not. Bloodworth entered a no-contest plea to DUI and resisting an officer charges and was sentenced to two years of probation. Interestingly, court documents later revealed she was granted permission to travel out of the country for a Royal Caribbean cruise in September 2023. Our next story covers an incident at a restaurant involving a woman causing a disturbance. Unnamed woman. On August 17, 2022, police were called to the scene to address the situation in a restaurant. The establishment manager had requested the woman to leave, but she refused, leading to a confrontation with the officers. On August 17, 2022, police were called to the scene to address the situation in a restaurant. The establishment manager had requested the woman to leave, but she refused leading to a confrontation with the officers. I started at Purdue Global because it was really easy to try to balance classes, writing papers. Okay, the manager of this establishment is asked you to leave the business. Okay, you need to turn and walk out the door. Love. The officers approached the woman and repeatedly asked her to leave, but she was uncooperative and defiant. She, she insulted the, the manager and resisted the, the officer's man. instructions. The, the manager of this business is an idiot. That may be, but you gotta go right now. Turn around. Stop her. Go ahead. 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 Despite being warned of the consequences, she continued to prove stubborn, which ultimately led to her arrest. For what reason? The manager's up. You're under arrest, put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest, hands behind your back. As the officers attempted to arrest her, the woman resisted, leading to a physical struggle. Turn around. You're under arrest, put your hands behind your back. Stop resisting. You're under arrest for trespassing. Get your fucking hands off. I don't do requests. Get your fucking hands off me. Get your hands off me. I'll be 10 15 in the front. Get your hands off me. Signal lady. Get your hands off me. Get her hands off. She was heard making derogatory remarks towards the officers and even claimed that her son was a state trooper, seemingly in an attempt to intimidate the officers or gain sympathy. It already is being recorded. Recorded. It's already is. I told the manager that I wasn't happy with the waiters gossiping. My son is a state trooper. Are you kidding me? Despite her resistance, the officers managed to handcuff her and prepare her for transport. She was been arrested because she wouldn't leave the business after she was told to leave. You're under arrest. No, no. You're pulling on this cuff. You're pulling on this cuff. That's why it's hurting. You're cutting my circulation. This is what we got. We've got criminals coming over a southern border, but we're going to arrest this woman. Six women are complaining together. I know. I'm complaining about this service. Why? Why? She didn't leave when she was immediately told to leave. I believe. 
That's what I think. That's correct. During the arrest, the woman's friend tried to intervene, questioning the officer's actions and the reason for the arrest. She don't know the full story. Man, we got to stay here. 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 Man, we got we're in the middle of communist country. You're in communism. It's called communism. Right here, right now. You know what? We're going to post everything on Facebook. Okay. You're more than welcome to. I have a picture of us. Okay. I have a picture of us. I've been taking pictures. Yeah. The officers explained that the woman was arrested for trespassing and resisting arrest. After she was told to leave by management, so she's being arrested for failure to leave upon trespass and resisting arrest. They emphasized that she had been given multiple opportunities to leave the premises peacefully, but chose to ignore them. She understood. She was given multiple warnings and told to leave. I mean, this is, this is a grandmother. Yeah. No, this this is the way this is the way it's gonna go. Well, you know what? I'll tell you how it's really gonna go. We're not coming back, and everybody okay. we know, they're not coming. Back. Okay, you're you're more more than happy to do that. That's fine. You're welcome to your opinion. That's totally fine. What if that was your mother? My mother wouldn't act like that, ma'am. The woman continued to be uncooperative and complained about the tightness of the handcuffs. She repeatedly demanded to be taken to a public place, claiming she felt unsafe in the secluded area where she was being held. These handcuffs on me, having my belongings you know, stripped from me, is not respectful to me. Having me stand out here in public handcuffed because I complained about the wait step is not respectful. That is the problem. Well, I explained to you why you're being arrested. Let's go. What, what are we waiting for? Yes, Let's go. Yes, do paperwork. I asked to be driven back to the public place where I was, instead of being in the secluded area where none of Forever. my friends Welcome and nobody can this see me. I do not feel safe here, and I have been saying, right I have been. You have a police officer with you. Are you kidding me? The police officer who put handcuffs on me and twisted my arm twisted because I complained arm. about the wait staff. No, I don't. I don't feel no. safe here, and I want to be in a public place. The situation escalated further when the woman refused to cooperate with a female officer who arrived to search her before transport. I understand that, but before you can go anywhere, I have to check you. I have to track you down. Female and they're not you. going to do this, so they asked me to come by and handle it. I'm so out with people. I'm literally trying to be nice with people. I'm probably going to be nice with whatever I wanted to I swear to God, I'm trying to be patient, I'm trying to be nice to be I'm sorry you put yourself into this situation. Nobody else did anything. I'm trying, I asked him. They asked right. multiple times to come out by yourself, you're not doing it, so now I'm going to have to help you. I asked to go into a Step out. Yeah. We're, we're done with all this. Step out of the car. You're done with all what? Trying to negotiate with you. Come out. Come on. Well, you're under arrest right now. You have to cooperate with our no. booking procedure. She continued to argue and resist, making the process more difficult for the officers. Despite their attempts to handle the situation calmly and professionally, the woman's behavior remained aggressive and uncooperative. Would you like yeah. to just deal with me? The woman wants to even ask her nicely the multiple times. To female to female. She asked her nicely. Asked she still wouldn't down. listen. I'm not cooperating. No, ma'am, no. You want us to pull you across the car? You're not going to push me. You're not going to prod me. You're not going to twist my arm like you are now. Just relax. What kind of a man is this? What kind of a man is this? Just relax. What kind of a man is this? You're a woman. Twist in your hand. I'm not pulling you off so you get under control. What the f***? I'm in an air truck. What kind of a man are you? Throughout the incident, the woman made several statements indicating her disbelief and outrage at being arrested. Why? For what reason? Are you going to tell me your name and name her? Like how I I can't let go of you. Another officer can hold you while I write your name down, okay? Take pictures. Take pictures of him going through my purse. 
This will go in the history book, okay? I hope you're getting a good record of this. She repeatedly mentioned her personal and professional roles, such as being a mother, grandmother, teacher, and therapist, as if to suggest that her status should exempt her from the consequences of her actions. Video. Stay tuned for my next video. Thank you. I'm a mother, a grandmother, a teacher, a therapist, a law-abiding citizen because it's